Guys, I want you to come with me to surprise a veteran with a home office makeover. Come on, let's go knock on the door. Makeover. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, America, you guys are ready because we're going to kind of take over her house because here we go. You're not going to believe this. Just a few hours before we started filming, we got a surprise of our own. My husband, Patrick, came home from an overseas deployment and we couldn't be happier. This is the moment that military families wait for those hugs, those kisses. And seriously, I've got to go back to work but he's so awesome and just really supportive. So thanks, Patrick, we gotta get this makeover done. Okay, so here's the space and our primary obstacle is dealing with the clutter. Annette being a veteran and a military spouse had a tendency to hold on to every little piece of paper and keepsake as they held precious memories for her. I can empathize with that. As a military family, we often relocate frequently, making it difficult to part ways with our belongings. So girl, I get you. We got it all out of there. All out of there. All out. Where'd it go? All right there. And the key to good organization is to first declutter. So as I dive into this, please meet Army veteran Annette Wittenberger. My military career began uh, 1 July, 1999. I thought I was just gonna do three years and be done, and it ended up being an almost 18 year career. The most challenging thing about learning to be a military spouse from serving in the military is I was no longer a soldier and a military spouse and a mom and all these things. I wasn't quite sure how to handle it because I no longer had my other thing that I always went to. So it, it was a challenge. Learning to be a military spouse from serving in the military is learning that I was just a military spouse now. I was no longer a soldier and a military spouse and a mom and all these things. I wasn't quite sure how to handle it because I no longer had my other thing that I always went to. So it, it was a challenge. I had to uh, learn how to be around that environment and how to be one. It's just weird. I didn't focus on being a military spouse all the time. I was a, I was a soldier. When I moved here, this was my final move. And to learn how to unpack as a permanent thing is very overwhelming because I'm so used to just only half unpacking because I knew I was gonna leave again. So I had to unpack everything and figure out where to place it and to know that this is gonna be permanent. But I get anxiety really bad and I get overwhelmed really bad so when I look at this corner of stuff that I know needs to be put into place I just ignore it and I just kind of half did the office it was just too much for me to handle and so to have this space to be made into something that I could actually use rather than dread going into and being filled with anxiety and just get into my depression again so it's just it's very emotional <laughs> started almost two years ago. I was starting to develop things um, that no one could give me answers to. And so it was constant, you know, going to the hospital, trying to figure it out, being given, put on medication and just fighting to say this, something's wrong. Getting to the point where something needed to be done, I ended up having to have a full hysterectomy. And um, that's very, it's very hard for me because it wasn't my choice to get everything removed, but I had to, to in order to save my life. I had a um, tumor that was very large that they thought was cancerous, and so it was a uh, very difficult procedure, And but I'm okay now, I'm okay. So it's another chance at life to keep going. My passion is to continue to share my story and help others use their voice to share theirs. I do live with depression, anxiety, and PTSD. I am also an independent artist, I'm a songwriter, and I want to use our words to heal through music. I'm learning to live with it instead of suffer from it, and so I want to help others do the same thing.
Let's help Annette get this office in order so she can do the work that she's passionate about. But first, can we talk about these moving stickers? Yeah, we may forget to take them off, but they're like a cheerful reminder of our nomadic lives. If you know, you know. We're gonna do a budget-friendly wall feature. I want you to check it out with a little bit of paint and some wood slats. I think it's gonna go work out. Check it out. We're gonna go with black. Whoa, no joke, it's happening. It's happening. Can't go back now. Who knew painting a wall black could be so nerve wracking, but hey, we're risk takers here and it's just paint, right? Actually, it's turning out to be the perfect touch for her sleek new home office. While the paint dries, it's time for a Texas style shopping adventure. So I'm headed to none other than the HEB to pick up furniture and decor pieces that will be the perfect addition to the space. I'm loving all of the accessories. This is gonna go into the home office. She's, she's a keeper, she's pretty. Because in Texas, even our home makeovers have a touch of Lone Star flair. Game on, day two. We've got furniture to build, so while Annette is away, we've taken over her office to create something truly special. When she returns, she'll be thrilled to see the transformation. We ain't got enough time for that. The anticipation is real, y'all. This is an inexpensive way to give like a built-in look without an actual built-in. What do you think? Yeah, it works. And it's metal, so it's, it's sturdy. It's metal. It's sturdy. Look how deep this is. That's amazing. You can store so much stuff. What did y'all do? Still black paint. A little paint crisis. <laughs> but as Big Brittany says, crisis averted. All done. It's all okay. Go Good ahead. as name. Water-based paint. What's your method to organizing? I'm an avid organizer. I firmly believe in if you can organize your space, it'll declutter your mind. And when you declutter your mind, you have the better opportunity to use positive self-talk, positive mindset, positive thinking. And so whenever I am you know, really going through clutter, I like my um, categories. So, all right, so let's do that. Show me what that means. Okay, so all of these items are all items that are unused. And so I would put this all in a category of supplies versus a category of notebooks that are used that have, you know, um, memories and things in them. So I'm putting them in order of like memories versus things that are available to use. Bright. It is bright. It's that, Texas. That sun is really East bright. Texas. It is. Uh -huh. It is. Uh -huh. All right. It's the waiting game. Mm -hmm. It is. Come on in. Hey, my friend. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm just, I don't even know. You don't even know. What are you worried <laughs> about? I don't even know. I'm so excited. I'm so emotional. Hi. I'm excited just to have space just to to be able to, to have my space your space that's to your own. my space that's my own yes okay yes all right then come on out friend okay. Do you remember what your room looked like before? Yes. You do? I do. All right, I'm going to show you right here. Do you remember that? Yes. All right, it's all the way around. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. We're coming in. We're going to walk you in. Step up a little bit. There you go. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. It's closed. It's closed. Like I this. believe you. I believe you, but I don't. Thank you so much for your service. <laughs> Over 17 years. Open your eyes. I'm just trying to
I love creating Annette's dream home office, an organized, stylish space that embraces her memories and reflects her vibrant personality. They should be displayed. You play music. You create beautiful music. So they're all here. Everything's here. <laughs> oh my God. I know. I know. For the win. <laughs> yes, for the win. Thank you all for watching this episode of Moving with the Military. Are you excited, Annette? So excited. What, are, did we do good? Everything perfect. We did great. It's a win. It's a win. We will catch you all on the next one. Bye. Bye. Out the show, we say, you want to say it? One, two, three. That's, That's a wrap. wrap. That's a wrap. We'll see you on the next one, guys. <laughs>